Hi, it's Ricardo, and I thought I'd make the trip to the Founder's World to check out the new ship, the Dolphin. So I'm on approach now to Jameson Memorial Station, and once I get in, I'll see what the Dolphin's like and buy it from the shop, as this station does tend to have every ship, and there are currently 31 ships in the game. An awful lot of commanders in system, it's very, very popular during this beta, the 2.3 beta. So it would be quite interesting to see who else is looking at the Dolphin and what other ships people are looking at as well. So I'm bringing the cutter in on a final approach. We need pad 24, which is usually directly in front of us. There it is. We'll bring it into land. The trip over um, has been quite uneventful. And after this, I think I'll go looking for some asteroid bases and see what sort of um, interest people have with those. The graphics are meant to be quite, quite spectacular. For those of you who don't know, asteroid bases are carved out of the asteroid. You fly into the asteroid um, as opposed to a normal Coralis or Oculus station. So I've put down now. Let's take a look. Incidentally, something I noticed as well in the fire groups was that my discovery scanner is being replaced by a data link scanner. Now data link scanners are generally attached to the scarab. I haven't got any scarabs or a scarab bay. In fact, I've got a fighter bay in, in this particular ship at the moment. So that must be a bug where it's being replaced by Frontier. If we go to the data link scanner and then show info, yep, we can confirm it is fitted to a scarab as a communications device. So, something I noticed on the way over. Let's get cracking into station services. So, always worthwhile refueling, you never know. Into the shipyard. 31 ships available, every ship in the game every playable ship so far in the game is available. So let's quickly scroll through Dolphin. There it is, Sud Kruger. They make some of the finest vessels. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else? No, nope, there's nothing else here that I want to mess about with. Perhaps a beluga later. So on to the Dolphin, it's 120,000 credits, normally we pay in the betas about 10%, so that would run into about 1.2 million credits in the real game if we follow that, that theory. Let's take a look at some of the stats, so top speed 258 with a boost speed of 361, an FSD range of 10.1 light years, as is, and that's as is, so with a, a laden range of 10.87, so we go to an engineer with a nice FSD, we should get this up over 20. Shields at 143, armor at 198, and hull mass of 140 with a cargo capacity of 14 tons. It's fitted as standard by two small pulse lasers 
and a basic discovery scanner. Again, we've got the optional internal modules, lightweight alloys, a 4E power plant, 4E shields, various cargo racks and a planetary approach suite. Let's go into outfitting. It's a nice looking ship, I think. Nice and curved, quite quintessential of the entire passenger ship line. A nice curved canopy. Let's go to the hard, uh, yeah, let's go to the hard points. So yeah, it's just to confirm small hard points. And it's currently fitted with lasers, pulse lasers. Utility mounts, there's three of those. And all the items are available here. And go for core internal. Take a look at that um, frame shift drive. So we've got a 4E fitted. Let's browse the shop. We'll soon sort that out. Put a 4A in. Let's sell that old module, we're not going to need it. And that should take us up to about 19, 19.7 light years range, unladen. Taking a look at the exterior of the ship now in the docking bay. Again, we're getting a different angle using this new camera. I still can't get the hang of the camera like what I used to on the old version. I suppose I'll have to, really. Nice looking ship, nice reflections on the vessel. Taking a look at the front of the ship now, there's that nice curved cockpit canopy. Moving now to the surface of the space station, so we get a more lighted view. It does actually look a bit like a limousine. I think it was designed with a limousine in mind. Let's take the ship out anyway. Okay, let's take it out for a spin. Uh, let's launch. So it's quite responsive. Lots of commanders in system. Lots of commanders. All having a go at the, at the dolphin. Okay, so the boost went around about 322, but now we're clear of the station. We'll go for all pips to engines. All pips of engines are seeing us max out at 258. Hitting the boost. Take us to 346. And quite a good sound of the engines as well. Let's hear it again. It's like a scream, like a mammal scream, which is really nice. So, with our pulse lasers, with the finger on the trigger, we can basically fire forever like this, but these are small pulse lasers. It's, this ship isn't here for armament. Okay, so that's a fantastic sound. Let's put the anchors on, bring it to a stop. It's quite maneuverable. I thought because it's a smaller vessel, it would be more maneuverable than this. But at the end of the day, it's not bad. Let's have a quick look 
with the external views as well. Now you can control the ships as well and operate them while in the external camera mode and you can initiate the boost like what I've done there, which makes for some spectacular graphics. Not a bad ship. I think I might invest in one in the main game to just get the, the hang of some passenger missions. Um, and it, it's going to be cheap enough anyway, you know, but I don't think passenger missions is going to be what I'll be doing in the main game. To, to, to too much extent anyway. That said though, there is some major money to be made with passenger missions, especially if you're going towards Colonia or out of the core. Sometimes you can get I mean, 40 to 50 go. million credit missions. It's got some pretty good performance. So, taking a look now at the jump range. The Class A, we've got 19.5 light years. At least. And it's cool, you go to an engineer, you'll take it over 20. So, I've been Ricardo, that's been The Dolphin by Sid Kruger Systems, and I'm at the Founders World. This was Elite Dangerous 2.3 Beta 1, and that was a quick look at that dolphin. Thanks for watching, check back for more videos.